Greetings, it is Maxo Diddley here, and today I am here with another Java tutorial to help you get today in your coursework or exam. And today we're here with validating the file type of a file. So you might be thinking, Max, why do we need this? Well, let's say you've got an app, maybe Steam for example, and you can upload a profile picture. It won't let you upload a text file. It has to be something like a PNG or a JPEG or a few other image file formats. And that's the type of thing we're going to go for here. But this is not perfect. We're going to be using the name to identify what file type a file is. And you can get around this really easily. We won't be doing MIME types, which can be found by digging into the file. That's a different tutorial. But this is just helping you idiot proof your software, just in case someone accidentally drags the, a, the wrong file. So let's get right into how we can do this. So we've got a system.out.printline statement is valid file. Then we've got a string called mean profile pick.png. And then we've also got PNG. That's our desired file format. This is the name of the file we wish to check. Also, we aren't putting a dot. You can modify this to include the dot, but I don't want to include the dot in our desired file format as it's going to extract PNG, not the dot as well. So let's get into defining the isValidFile function, but firstly, be sure to import import java.io.file. This is going to allow us to do some file object interaction, which we need for this tutorial. So we've got a public static boolean, isValidFile, string file path, string desired type, public static boolean, so it's going to return a true or a false, valid or invalid, isValidFile is the name, string file path is the file path of the file we wish to validate and check the type for. Then we do string desired type. What type do we want? So there's two things we're going to do. Firstly, we're going to create a file object. So we're going to do file, file to check equals new file, file path. We need to use this file object for a couple of things. So we're just going to make an object here so, and then we can do what we want to it. And with our file to check object, we're going to check if it doesn't exist. If it doesn't exist, that means the user hasn't uploaded anything, and therefore we want to return a false. I imagine you might want to use this function for maybe a button. You don't need to actually include this in some programs if you just literally want to validate what type a string is. If that makes sense, like in theory, you could validate this string without ever having a file, but I want to just put in the code to make sure you're checking there is a file, but you don't need to have this if you don't want it. After this, you want to do string file name equals file to check dot to get name. This is going to be the name of the file that we're going to check. Again, I'm putting it as its own variable to make the code slightly easier to read for people who aren't as experienced with Java. After that, we're going to do string extension equals speech marks. So we're basically creating an empty string. Then we're going to do inti equals file name dot last index of dot. So what are we doing here? Well, basically what we're going to do is we're going to get the last int, we're going to get the final dot in our string and we're going to get what character that dot is at. As some people might put more dots in their file name and that would confuse the code if we just checked for whatever's behind one dots. So we're going to go through the entire file name and find the last dot and then get the position of where that is in the string, which is the file path or the file name. And then what we can do is we can do if i is greater than or equal to zero, we can then do extension equals file name dot substring i plus one. And what's going on here? Well, we are literally going to get the characters that are at the last dot and after. So in the context of mean profile pick PNG, extension will be set to PNG. If we had test.txt, extension would be set to txt. We are getting all the characters after the last dot in this string, which is the extension, which is usually the file type. Then what we do is we do return extension dot equals desired type. So we're basically checking if the extension is equal to the desired type string, which is the type that we want this file to be to be considered valid. And that's it for this function. So before we do this, if you're in NetBeans, you can go to Windows, you can go to Projects, 
Once you're in projects, you can then go to your project, right click on properties, and then this will be the file path of your Java project. It's going to be different for other IDEs, so you might have to do a little digging about. So for this tutorial, we are just going to be storing our files in the Java project, wherever the default relative file path is. So we can literally just put the file name and that's it. Obviously you can customize this however you want. But we've got our meme profile picture and then we've also got our test.txt. So let's run the code. We're going to hit control S to save our code. And then we're going to press play. And it says true because meme profile pic.png is a PNG file, which is good. Now, let's say we do test.txt. Test.txt is this text file, but we're going to check if it's a PNG. Well, it's false because that's not a PNG. If we do txt, it's true because it is a text file. And we're going to do one last. We're going to do jeff.csv. And we're going to check for a CSV file. We're going to hit play and it says false. Now, why does it say false? Because that's clearly a CSV file in the name. Well, it doesn't exist. As you can see, there's no jeff.csv here. And that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and do subscribe if you want harder validation to crack when it comes to validating a file type, as there are other things you can do to make this even harder to break through. Literally, you could break through this by renaming your file. However, this helps idiot-proof your software in case someone, for instance, uploaded the wrong file. So thanks for being a great audience.